Hi, my name is Julia Estrella and my case study will be looking at the effects of ocean acidification on juvenile blue and copper rockfish off the coast of Central California. When you think about global warming, you don't usually picture a fish getting lost or swimming towards a predator. When a fish gets lost, you know there's a problem. In fact, this is what fish on acid are like. No, I'm not saying fish are getting high because of global warming. It's just the effect of ocean acidification on rockfish. Ocean acidification is when the ocean uptakes an excess amount of carbon dioxide, making pH levels decrease and increasing the acidity in our bay. This is caused by several factors, including El Nino events, annual upwelling, and even the bathymetry of the Monterey Submarine Canyon. All three of these factors contribute to the acidity of our bay. So what does this mean for us as residents on the coast of California? Well, a couple species of rockfish in the Monterey Bay can tell us how the majority of marine organisms will react to ocean acidification. I will be looking at the blue rockfish and the copper rockfish, as they have opposing life history traits, with the blue rockfish spawning in deep acidic waters and ascending to shallow waters in its adulthood, and the copper rockfish spawning in shallow water and descending to deep acidic waters in its adulthood. These different life histories can cause one fish to be more resilient to ocean acidification compared to another species. By looking at rockfish physiology, we can see how fish will respond to ocean acidification and ultimately know how their ecosystem will be affected. Previous studies have already found several biological processes that are affected by acidic water. These include a decreased metabolic rate, a decreased acid-base regulation in extracellular cellular space, decreased growth, decreased reproduction, and many times even mortality. I will be using previous case studies and published literature, including data collected by my colleagues and I from last year to support my hypotheses. It is important to know how rockfish are affected by ocean acidification because if we can identify how the ecosystem will be affected, we can use this data for future marine conservation efforts and maybe not let those fish get lost.